What, what are practices like, or physicality-wise? Uh, it, it gets scrappy in there, because we all compete, so then there's trash talk, there's pushing, grabbing, shoving, scratching, all that. There's a whole bunch of everything in practice. Well, what do you think your teammates would, how would they describe you? Um, that's a great question. I don't really know. I just, like, physicality-wise, like, yeah, uh -huh. physicality-wise, yeah. uh, they say I'd just be pushing around just, just to do it sometimes. I'm not going to I do. Like, if, <laughs> if someone's just running past me, like, I'll tag them, but we, we all do it. Like, Rob, Rob feels like he's getting a little strong now because uh, what Brady's been having him doing, so he's been trying to push me around a little bit, too. But, you know, it's all jokes at the end of the day when we get off the court, we're all brothers again, but... As soon as we're on the court, we're at each other's throats. <laughs> I guess what have you learned about this team now that you have played other opponents and just gotten a little taste, even though you don't have the bigs, which I taste about this team and I guess it's potential. Um, whenever we went back over the film from the last game, we realized we wasn't getting uh, many stops, kills, uh, what we call it. They, uh, coaches made it a priority for us in practice, and I think we translated that to the game pretty good. So I think we do a pretty good job of listening and trying to apply it to all our games. And I, we did a pretty good job of that tonight. No you guys had a possession where you know you swing it. I think like four different people uh, touched the ball. How much will you guys lean on you know that fluidity on offense and also your transition offense early on in the season? It's all random. I mean, if you don't have something hit the other person, cut through, just a whole lot of movement. Someone on the other team's gonna break down eventually and then that's when we can attack and score. But dude, the ball's really moving quickly, it seems like, and, and finding the open man. Mm -hmm. I asked Trey, I was like, are you surprised with so many new people involved in the team that it, it's going that well this early? No, I'm not surprised. Just by all the practices and everything, like how, how we were in practice, Really, is I'm surprised the ball didn't move more. But um, yeah, we were using the whole shot clock in practice, playing against each other, and now when we get on the court, we just realize we see everything more clear from all the random play we did in practice against each other. You see guys that seem to be taking as much joy in somebody else scoring mm -hmm. as, as themselves. Is that a big key to that? Um, I think. What Cal said to us, what Coach Cal said to us, uh, one day before practice, he sent us all a text. It was uh, what uh, Jokic had said. He said uh, a reporter asked him if he likes doing the scoring or passing it to someone to score. And he said passing it to someone to score because that makes two people happy, him and the other person, and not just him scoring. So I think we all just took that and applied that to all our games. and. That made it fun for all of us. This is your second year being a part of the Unity Series with Kentucky State. Could you just speak about that just a little bit? Um, you know, we had a dinner last night after practice. We came here, and uh, Kentucky State was here too. So we were here. We uh, ate food, listened to a whole, a whole lot of great stories. Just had a great time with each other, and. Uh, just brought it to the court the next day, just ready to play, get the fans a show. How do you feel from last year compared to this year? It looks like you got a little bit longer of a leash. Do you feel, in terms of your individual game, do you feel more confident? Or what's it feel like this year? You, know, you got a whole season under your belt already. Definitely more confident because I feel like um, just with my age now, like being here for another year, uh, that I just understand things more and I have a little bit more experience on the court, so I think I can you know, play a little bit more free. What do you think your focus will be as you get into the, the games that count now? What, what do you want to do better or sustain? Uh, probably not passing up those open shots, like Cal said. Yeah. He gets frustrated about that as much as anything, doesn't he? Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> like when you don't shoot an open shot. How much is your Especially your three-point shot changed from like last year to this year. You just even just watching like pregame warmups, you look a lot more comfortable, a lot more fluid. That um, I think I got a lot of reps up over the summer, all the way to now. So I, I'm, I know my shot. I'm more confident in it. Uh, I think uh, people seeing the blue and white games 
I'm just running down the court. If I catch it in transition, I'm going to shoot it. I am more, a lot comfortable with my shot. Now. Is that have you been working with anybody specifically? Coach uh, John Welch. Coach Welch. Yeah. What, what's kind of the main, I'm sure it's, it's pretty nuanced, but what are kind of the main takeaways from, from your work with him? It's just, you just got a lot of reps up. So, he'd see like what's wrong, we try and add that and just change a couple of things and just helped a lot. Just got a lot of reps up like that and got more comfortable. Does it feel different? Can you like feel it? Does it feel different than? Um, I don't really know. Yeah. Like if I watch a video from how I shot uh, like last year or a couple of years ago, then I would be able to tell the difference. But like now as I'm shooting it, I just feel like more confident shooting the ball. Just because you put so many up over the summer and fall. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, you guys had the Global Jam, but two exhibitions, blue white game, the six or so weeks of practice. What What did you take from that? Where can this team get better? Well, I guess what's your primary takeaway about where can this team improve? Where can this team improve? Um, I feel like we're gonna find that out. Like as the season goes on, it's early now, so we're gonna have a couple of moments in games where we realize like something's not working. We gotta change it up, and I think we'll be able to be able to take that and adjust because we do a pretty good job of finding out what we're doing wrong and then taking it into the next game and trying to fix that. So I think we'll be at the time where we'll be able to adjust uh, quicker. Does that kind of come with the territory with uh, a, a team of especially younger guys, especially with so many freshmen? Do you kind of have to feel like you go into a season that way where you're going to kind of learn on the fly with some Yeah, of course. Stuff? I mean, we're all young. So we'll just be, we got the, but we got Trey and Antonio, and they should help us a lot with everything. But dude, last year you used more of like a one or a two. This year you've been used about three, and Cal said maybe even a four. How do you think your role on this team is going to be this year? Do you think you're going to be more of a guard or more of like a post presence for this team? To be honest, it doesn't really matter to me. I just want to play. Yeah. Just help my team win, so I'll do whatever it takes. And the last question, do you, how different do you think this offense will transition when all the seven-footers return and you get more in-depth out there? Uh, do you think How much different is this team going to be at that point? I really don't know. Yeah. That's going to change a lot, so I, I, I don't know.